good and bad, right and wrong, positive and negative, success and failure, love and hate, heaven and hell, pain and pleasure, and fear and more fear. This traditional model must be addressed because one must enter this consciousness with a new consciousness. This enigma can be called innate intelligence, chi. Healed, invisible power, mother father life, cosmic energy or higher power. Regardless of what name you give it, you must see this energy as an unlimited source of power within you and around you, which you utilize and create from throughout your life. It is the consciousness of intent and the energy of unconditional love. It is impossible for it to judge, punish, threaten or banish anyone or anything, because it would be doing those very things to itself. It only gives in love, compassion and understanding. It already knows everything about you. It's you who have to make an effort to know and develop a relationship with it. It has been observing you from the moment you were created. You are an extension of it. It only waits in hope, in admiration and in patience. It only wants you to be happy. And if you are happy being unhappy, that's fine too. That's how much it loves you. This self-organizing invisible field is wise beyond comprehension because it exists through an interconnected matrix of energy that extends in all dimensions in space and time, past, present and future. It records the thoughts, desires, dreams, experiences, wisdom, evolution and knowledge from all of eternity. It is an immense, immaterial, multi-dimensional field of information. It knows much more than you and I do, even though we think we know it all. Its energy can be likened to many levels of frequency, and like radio waves, every frequency carries information. All of life on a molecular level vibrates, breathes, dances, shimmers, and is alive. It is completely receptive and malleable to our willful intentions. Let's suppose you want joy in your life. So you ask the universe for it every day. However, you've memorized suffering into such a state of being that you whine all day long. You hold everyone responsible for the way you feel. You make excuses for yourself and you mope around constantly feeling sorry for yourself. Can you see that you can declare joy all you want, but you are demonstrating being a victim? Your mind and body are in opposition. You are thinking a certain way one moment, then you are being something else the remainder of the day. Hey. Hence, can you humbly and sincerely admit who you have been? what you have been hiding, and what you want to change about yourself, so that you eliminate unnecessary pain and suffering before you create the related experiences in your reality. To vacate and lay down your familiar personality for a brief period of time, and knock on the door of the infinite in a state of joy and reverence, is so much more conducive to change than allowing your personality to be fractured by your insistent course of destiny created by who you were repeatedly being. Let's change in joy instead of changing in pain. Opportunity to write. Now close your eyes and become still. Look into the vastness of this mind and into yourself and begin to tell it who you have been. Develop a relationship with the greater consciousness that is giving you life by honestly and inwardly talking to it. Share with it the details of those stories that you have carried around with you. Writing down what comes to you will be useful in later steps. 
examples of what you might admit to your higher power. I am afraid of falling in love because it hurts too much. I pretend I'm happy, but I'm really suffering because I'm lonely. I do not want anyone to know that I feel so guilty, so I lie about myself. I lie to people so that they like me, and so I won't feel so unloved and unworthy. I can't stop feeling self-pity. I think, act and feel this way all day long because I do not know how else I can feel. I have felt like a failure most of my life, so I try extra hard to be a success. Now take a moment and review what you have written and what you want to admit to this power. Declaring outwardly, acknowledge your self-limiting emotion. In this part of the meditation process, you actually speak out loud who you have been and what you've been hiding about yourself. You tell the truth about yourself. Put the past to rest and close the gap between how you appear and who you really are. You give up your facade and the constant effort of being someone else. By declaring the truth about yourself out loud, you are breaking the emotional ties, agreements, dependencies, attachments, bonds, and addictions to all those external cues in your life. In the workshops that I conduct around the world, this is the most difficult part of the steps. No one really wants anyone to know who they really are. They want to maintain how they appear. However, as you have learned, it takes an enormous amount of energy to keep up this ongoing image. This is the point where you want to release that energy. And remember, since emotions are energy in motion, everything that you've experienced and interacted with in your external life has had an energetic emotion attached to it. Essentially, you are bonded to some person, thing or place by an energy that exists beyond time and space. This is how you continually remember yourself as an ego with a personality identifying emotionally with and being tied to everything in your life. For example, if you hate someone, that hate keeps you emotionally attached to the other person. Your emotional bond is the energy that keeps this individual in your life so that you can feel hate and thus reinforce one aspect of your personality. In other words, you use that person to stay addicted to hatred. By the way, it should be obvious by now that your hatred is primarily hurting you. As you release chemicals from your brain to your body, you truly hate yourself. To speak the truth about yourself out loud in this step empowers you to become free from hatred and less connected to the person or thing in your external reality that reminds you of who you have been. If you recall the gap, discussed earlier, you know that most people rely on the environment to remember themselves as a somebody. Therefore, if you have memorized an emotion as part of your personality, and you are addicted to it, then when you declare who you have been emotionally, you are calling energy back, releasing it to you from your emotional bonds with everything and everyone in your life. This conscious statement by you will free you from the old self. In addition, by claiming your limitations and consciously revealing what you have been hiding, you are freeing the body from being the mind. And for that reason, you are closing the gap between how you appear and who you really are. When you verbalize who you have been, you also liberate energy stored in your body. This will become free energy for you to use later on in the meditation to create a new self and life. Bear in mind that your body will not want to do this very readily. Your ego automatically hides this emotion because it doesn't want anyone to know the truth about itself. It wants to remain in control. The servant has become the master. But the master now must let the servant know that he or she has been delinquent, unconscious and absent. 
So it makes sense that your body will not want to relinquish control because it does not trust you. But if you just open your mouth and speak out in spite of the body's control, it will begin to feel lighter and relieved and you will begin to be back in command. This is how you define who you really are without any associations to your external environment. You are severing your energetic bond to the emotional attachment of all the elements in the outer world. If admitting is an inner acknowledgement, then declaration is an outward one. What is it that you want to declare? It's time to merge this part of step three with the previous part. Remember that you're building this section into one fluid process. Using the example of anger, you might say aloud, I have been an angry person my whole life. Remember the general aim of what you want to declare. In this part of the meditation for the week, while you are sitting up with eyes closed, you'll open your mouth and softly say the emotion that you are declaring. Anger. While you prepare yourself to do this and while you are engaged in verbalizing your declaration, it probably will not feel good to you. Do it anyway. That's your body talking to you. Your end result is that you are inspired, uplifted and energized. Make this step simple, easy and light-hearted. Do not overanalyze what you have done. Just know that the truth shall set you free. Remember that you're not ready to start your week two meditations yet. In this section, you have recognized an unwanted emotion and its corresponding state of mind that you want to unmemorize. Then you admitted it inwardly and declared it outwardly. There's one more step to read, after which you can put all four together in your week two meditation. Step four, surrendering. Yield to a greater power, allow it to resolve your limitations or blocks. Surrendering is the final step in this section in which you are pruning away the habit of being yourself. Most of us struggle with the idea of letting go, of allowing someone or something else to have control. Keeping in mind whom you are surrendering to, the source, infinite wisdom, should make this process go much easier. Einstein said that no problem could be solved from the same level of consciousness that created it. The limited state of mind of your personality is responsible for creating your limitations, and the answer has not come to you. So why not go to a grander, more resourceful consciousness to help you overcome this facet of yourself? Since all potentials exist in this infinite sea of possibilities, you are humbly asking it to take your limitations from you in a different way than the mode in which you have been trying to resolve this issue. Since the best way to transform yourself has not occurred to you, and what you have been doing up to this point to overcome the problems in your life has not worked out yet, it's time to contact a greater resource. The consciousness of the ego could never see the solution. It is steeped in the emotional energy of the dilemma and therefore it only thinks, acts and feels equal to that mind. It only creates more of the same. Your change will be executed in a way that is unlimited from the objective mind's perspective. It sees you from the perspective of not being you. It perceives potentials that you have not even thought of because you were too busy being lost in the dream by responding to life in predictable ways. However, if you say that you have surrendered to the objective consciousness's assistance, yet still try to do things your own way, can you see that it is impossible for it to assist you in changing anything in your life? By your own free will, you would thwart its efforts. 
Most of us obstruct this mind because we go back to trying to resolve our problems by living within the same unconscious habitual lifestyle. We get in our own way. In fact, most of us wait until the ego is driven into the ground to the point that we can no longer continue business as usual. This is when we usually surrender and receive some type of aid. You can't both surrender and try to control the outcome. Surrender requires that you give up what you think you know from your limited mind, especially your belief about how this problem in your life should be taken care of. To truly surrender is to let go of the ego's control, trust in an outcome that you haven't thought of yet, and allow this all-knowing, loving intelligence to take over and provide the best solution for you. You must come to the understanding that this invisible power is real, is fully conscious of you, and can completely take care of any aspect of the personality. When you do, it will organize your life in a way that is just right for you. When you ask for help by simply releasing to a greater mind the emotion you have admitted and declared, you won't have to bargain, beg, make deals or promises, commit halfway, manipulate, weasel, ask for forgiveness, feel guilty or shameful, live with regrets, suffer from fear, provide excuses. Moreover, you won't have to give your higher mind conditions like you should and it would be better if you can't tell this unlimited grand essence how to go about anything. If you do, you are back to trying to do things your way. And naturally, it will stop helping you so as to allow you your own free will. Instead, can your free will be Thy will be done. Just surrender in sincerity, humility, honesty, certainty, clarity, passion, trust, and then get out of the way. Joyously give up the emotion you want to let go of to a more expanded mind and know that it will do this for you. When your will matches its will, when your mind matches its mind, and when your love of self matches its love for you, it answers the call. The side effects of surrendering include inspiration, joy, love, freedom, gratitude, exuberance. When you feel joy or live in a state of joy, you have already accepted the future outcome that you want as a reality. When you live as if your prayers have already been answered, this greater mind can do what it does best by organizing your life in new and unusual ways. What if you knew that some issue facing you had been completely taken care of? What if you were certain that something exciting or great was about to happen to you? If you knew it without a doubt... Did you know? That trees, the exhale that it breathes out is what we need to inhale. And what we breathe out, the trees need to inhale. So this natural enhancing relationship connection we have with the trees then we tap into the chirp chirps of the of the chirp chirpers. A cat down the road told me that it helps because we got a lot of different signals and nerves within our brain and the function of it or whatnot. But they told me that listening to the chirps actually soothes and nourish your brain. So you are naturally being a more relaxed state of mind. Then you connect that with your breathing. You know, I'm in the flow state in the moment. 
a great way to really connect to your crown chakra and really talk to your higher self. As I walk into this beautiful sun that recharges me up. So I am the chosen one. We are a temple. We are a signal, but also a receptor. It's like a radio station. We can get in tune with different things. Hence why you find like-minded individuals and y'all think similar. Well, I thought about that. I used to tell myself that. You sound like me. Yeah, on the same frequency. But when you have two different minds on the same frequency, oh, that's you just enhance something. And then now you create a service, a service that, you know, allows someone else to work their skills and talents to be creative. And then y'all are effortlessly changing and impacting the world evolution and y'all know that the internet <laughs> is the future and y'all collaborate and <laughs> don't put it on mute y'all give back y'all putting this work behind the scenes and then y'all give back anyway talking about giving I'm going to be dropping a yoga mobility flexibility video. Why? Why would you drop a yoga mobility flexibility video? Because you can be strong as you want, but guess what? If you don't got no range of motion, if you can't move that body the way you want to without tension and and stress within the body, you're still weak. So the sleeper, flexibility, and mobility, we're going to have the best of both worlds. <laughs> we are unstoppable. And we're making the impossible possible. Shout out to Kim Possible. That was actually inspired by an actual being. I would love to meet her. Would love to meet her. I guarantee we'll definitely hit it off. Fireworks. Chosen one energy. Can't let nobody get to me. And always finding the solution to the problem. Real leadership alpha stuff. Let's see. Let's see. That's why right here. Where can I put the camera? And the cut like this though, how are you feel? How are you feeling? Mm -hmm. So you feel me? It's called skills. It's called skills. I don't know if y'all been watching my recent YouTube shorts, 
But basically, I've been trying out these different barefoot shoes. Eventually, I'm going to make my own or even collaborate and, you know, collaborate and create my own. You know, how the build going to be and whatnot. But right now, I've been trying out these Modish Strength M. I know I said, I know I said, in that sign. I know I said I should have got a size down. I still feel that way. But I can still wear those like that. That's when I like put two pairs of socks on. Like it still get the job done. Yeah, I'm, it's today leg day. I'm definitely going to see how it is to do these squats and, you know, step ups. Explosive lunges. You know what I'm saying? We just self love. We show love. That's my business. I'm on that vessel healing. I realize with this vessel healing, I'm really working on my mental and spirit too. It's that trilogy. I'm not even, and it's like I'm not even doing this on my own. I'm being guided. I'm just listening to the unknown. Because, like, some things you just can't control. And you have to just let go. And then just flow. How yourself say get in the car? 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 That was a nice little session. Shout out to me. If y'all want your own sessions, man, y'all live in the 804. Damn uh, me, 444. If y'all live in the 804, y'all want to schedule, you know, a mobility, flexibility, meditation, yoga. Strength training, explosive training, dance training, DM me 444. 444. I'm about to put y'all right here. Keep talking to y'all. I love talking to y'all. No cow. It's weird because it's like I'm FaceTiming and I'm just letting it flow. Fear and no stress. You would be lifted. You would be lifted. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. My bad. Put it on. I might have to pull out that other charger now. I'm missing the socks. Oh, you got to run there, Dave. You got to be that way. Hey. Hey. I ain't trying to control you now, but why? Why you want to be that guy? I'm just out here working on how to fly. Yeah, we going global. Read the book like a noble. Baby girl, I just want to show you what you really are yeah, you capable. Show me what yeah you wanna do. Spontaneous is how we get it up. Yeah, you know I got my cup full up. You can get a little bit taste. Yeah, yeah, we gonna race. No, we not on delay. It's a journey. Let her, let her hear it, yeah. Feel it from the base. Yeah, ain't no stress over here. 
cook it up, you know, I gotta make sure it's so clear. Yeah, I know. I'm real. Speaking, yeah, I'm real. I broke through. I thought I was a spiritual, no, spiritual, no, spirituality. That's like, that's like another cult in reality. I'm just me being me in the authentic light. Cause I know that I am so damn I'm bright. I'm a free spirit. I had to let them hear it. I had to experience it though. And I had to let them know. Yeah. This life ain't no joke. I was hit to learn. Yeah, I get on my own. And I got mentors too. Gotta make sure you invest in you. Took in risk. Taking risks. Took in risks. Taking risks. On your calling. On your dreams. Take your calling. On your dreams. Yeah, I'm pushing you. Yeah, take a risk. On the lay. Yeah, I move my wrist. It's like anytime I chose. To open up them doors. It, it came with pros and cons. Some of the stuff just told me that I had more work to do. But I gained, I gained more value. I was able to sustain. I was able to maintain. But then I was also the gain. I met new people, got new experiences. You are my equal. You have all these different versions inside you, but it's all about your conductivity. That's what set us apart. Intentional effort, and that is your spark. Free will, yeah, yeah, that's an art. Yeah, you gonna start and you start. Stop thinking. It's more doing. I'm just doing. Look at the influence. Inspiring you to go. Places, places that you never knew you know. Baby girl, yeah, I know you the one. You be chilling, you be chilling in the sun. Infinite left, it eh, eh, gone. We just working, yeah, we get it off the tone. Uh, we never gonna fall. And yeah, I be talking to your soul And I'm so deep, yeah, I know I'd rather go deep in yo Yeah, I'm talking to your spirit Gotta, gotta make sure you hear it Why? Open up them doors Yeah, yeah, open up them doors Tell them let it all go You need some more space to go Get what you deserve, uh, check them with it, yo. Y'all know we gon' go, yeah. We green light, you go, yeah. Take off like a rocket. Yeah, I charge you like a socket. Yeah, I put it in my pocket. I got that lock, so I lock it. And you can go. Whatever way you wanna go, you can go. And just and I'll let you know. We never been poor. They lie to you. They reprogram you. But then we learn that we can rewire too. I'ma work on me. Better me. Reprogram my street. To be my highest self. A unlimitless. A unlimitless being. She in love my singing. Eh, eh, but my throat's so dry. I've been fasting, yeah, I know I can fly. Moving so numb, I. This is the soul, this is the spirit. This is the soul, this is the spirit. Yeah, you make sure you cleanse it. Let them hear it. Know your dress. Love your hair, you be shining, you don't even even trying. It's your soul, yeah, it's talking through me. When you let your soul let it leave, you is free. 
how we be true to true to you yeah be to her full be full of you be to a full of you yeah I love you cause I love myself on mom yeah put myself on a podium put myself on a podium yeah, I'm going through some things. Baby girl, I just need a little bit of space. I come back feeling better than ever. Give me some space, yeah, I gotta get vulnerable. Yeah, I know I'm honorable. Yeah, we on the come up. Yeah, we love what the process. I knew I was gonna find you before I really took on. Uh, Cook it up, you know. We gon' evolve. Put the other thing, yeah. We don't de ease all. Cook it up, you know. Yeah, I'ma get it on the wall. I mean, yeah, we on the wall. Make it, make it, make it long. Cause I know you the one. And me under the sun. Got you on in his tree. I hear them busy bees, buzz buzz, yeah, I keep it on the hush. Love, love, baby, girl, you the one. You the one. I say you are the one. I say you are the one. Hold up. I say you are the one. Hey, I love you guys, so. So. But now you really the one though, like, I'm talking to my soulmate or twin flame or whatever who come. I mean, it was meant to be divinely. And it's been working on me. But it's also mean I've been working on we. Which means I really been working on it. Because guess what? We just a slice of it. <laughs> Sacrifice is the price of it. And like, I'm getting to the point where I feel like I can really give my all to you. And you giving my you giving your all to me. It's gonna feel so free. Cause I noticed that the relationships before it was like I was on like a pull pole. Sometimes I won't in my head space. And I feel like it's gonna always we're gonna always have a little ups and downs or whatnot. But baby girl, we're gonna always make it through. You know who you are, you trust yourself. You love yourself, you respect yourself. Look how far you have came. Same for me. I respect myself, I love myself, and I trust myself. So we only gonna gain. But I needed that peace, I needed your support. Because now you're going to help me really take off. I'm really going to help you take off. You know, you really my yin yang in between my twin twin. You know what I'm saying? Masculine and feminine, but you just me, but it's in the feminine version of it. So deep in between, but like, I love the way that you sing, the way it ring in my ear. And I just be in love with the feel, I, and I just absorb in it, but like I'm morbid in it. <laughs> but we, ain't, but we just here to really master myself. I got so many things to accomplish before I focus on another self, another reborn vessel into this experience 